you know, I, I don't have the finer points of the investigators' interviews and everything. I will tell you that the same individual that brought the 17-year-old uh, with him was already on federal probation for the same type of offense. And uh, obviously no remorse there. Obviously this is an individual that their, uh, their life evolves around this and it doesn't matter who they're hurting. Their, their only intent was to, to have sex with a child. What's your expectation of how long these individuals will stay in prison? You already mentioned the guy who had federal charges and was back out mm -hmm. on the street doing the yeah. same. You know, my, my expectation, uh, and uh, it may be a little bit varied, but my expectation is simply this. These are individuals I'd like to put behind bars and throw the key away. Uh, these are individuals that they are trying to hurt a child. Certainly, uh, I, I can tell you that if this had not been an operation where we were trying to arrest people and this had actually been a 14-year-old child or the parent of a 14-year-old child that was, that was um, uh, offering up you know, this type of stuff, we would see a child harmed. And it's not just about they showed up here as part of an operation. These individuals didn't know that. They thought they were coming here to actually get their hands on a 14-year-old kid. Do you, find, do you find it unbelievable that people are still go blown up with that amount? the amount of these operations that are publicized in the media? I, 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 first of all, I, I find it unimaginable that something like this could take place, something that uh, someone could have on their agenda to harm a child uh, at any level, but certainly at this level. So that's the first thing that comes to my mind. The second thing is um, criminals are, are uh, desperate creatures at times. They are uh, someone that has set their path. They are someone that's going to hurt an individual. And quite frankly, I think they overlook logic uh, when, they, when they're approaching their, their prey, if you will. And this is one of those where they came here fully expecting to meet a 14-year-old. Talk about the female side now on this thing. I mean, mm -hmm. you took it on the task force and the, uh, the Fairfax County Sheriff's Office. I mean, can you just talk about that? You know, um, the teamwork aspect of it is certainly something that we all play in the sandbox very well together here. Uh, in these investigations, you're, you're talking about a lot of jurisdictional boundaries that are being crossed over. And our team and the members of this unit, they know they work together very well. Uh, it is great to have all the additional resources. At times, we go into other areas and actually help uh, another sheriff's officer or another agency with a similar type of operation. So it is certainly a play in the sandbox type atmosphere together. But when, when you look at these, the one thing that's, that's clearly present is we not only had law enforcement partners, we had uh, local business partners, too, that... Uh, helped us set up our, our bait house, helped us um, uh, with every aspect of the operation. So it is, it is a great partnership. It will continue. We have one message, and that is if your thought is to hurt a child in Brevard County, you better think again because you're not coming here. So it kind of was like what you see on TV on MSNBC or whatever. You, that was the very, very similar. Yeah, very, no, same, same, same concept. Uh, we, um, you know, it was the same concept from start to finish. But as I said, the last five or six days is when the arrests have taken place. But some of this foundation has been laid over the past two months to get ready to do this. Sheriff, I don't think I've ever seen a, a operation as corporate sponsored. What exactly is Chick Fil A and Florida Heat trying to buy something? That's you know, when when you're out all day long on these operations, I mean, we were sent, we were having to uh, put resources inside this uh, uh, bait house, if you will. 24 hours a day because we were constantly getting uh, emails saying, I can be there in an hour. Well, we can't mobilize our team and everything. So we, uh, we have great relationships with our corporate sponsors here. Uh, ask them to help support the operation to be able to uh, have our people there 24 hours a day. And uh, again, it, it goes right back to what we've said from the very beginning. We, it takes a community to protect a community. And when we told these individuals the type of operation we were doing, they were on board very quickly, ready to help. So you guys have agents living there in the house, or they were stationed? Not so much living there, but uh, stationed there and positioned there. Right. Yeah, so that as soon as something like this happened, uh, we got that, that email or that social media contact, we were able to, uh, to have it fully running and ready to go.